Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're watching this video because you are traveling with your child soon, then stay tuned. I'm going to give you all of the details and information that I have on tips and tricks that helped me to make my life a little bit easier while traveling with my daughter. So she is about 16 months now and we have traveled on about 14 flights, I would say. Um, so we definitely have some experience. We have only really been traveling in the last six months, I want to say, due to like restrictions, all that stuff. Um, we're not going to get into that though. But we now have some ideas of kind of the items we need while we travel, um, different things that we've picked up along the way. So I'm going to share all my tips with you guys. But before we get into that, I did want to mention why we travel so often. So my husband and I actually get to go to different hotels, take content for them, and then share them over on our pages. So I will leave my Instagram here if you wanna check it out. Um, and I will leave my husband's down below as well. So we post our content on there. We take pictures for hotels, stuff like that, which is something that has been really fun to do and we really enjoy. But it can be a little bit difficult trying to stay creative all the time and just like keeping your head in that creative space. So what helps us a lot is Skillshare and Skillshare is actually the sponsor of today's video. So if you don't know what Skillshare is, it is an online platform filled with thousands of classes for creators. So if you're someone who considers yourself to be a creative, then Skillshare is gonna be the place for you. So they have classes all the way from cooking to iPhone photography, to productivity, to Photoshopping. There's literally, so much you can find over on Skillshare. So if you're looking for a hobby or to hone in on your skills like we do, then you should definitely check them out. So since we were just on a trip, I did actually watch a class between the first hotel and the second hotel. I was feeling a little bit uninspired and a little run down. The class that I watched is called iPhone Travel Photography, Learn the Art of Mobile Photography. And he basically talks about his steps and processes of how he takes pictures. And I find that really interesting to see kind of like what other people do. Something that he mentioned that really like stuck with me was stop and like enjoy the face for a minute and kind of like take it in before you document it. So then you can kind of capture its beauty and how you see it. And often it can feel a little bit rushed and like go, go, go. We want to just like get it done, make sure we get the shot and we don't always enjoy it as much. For the second hotel that we went to, I kind of tried to keep that in mind and the video really helped me with that. And Skillshare has been part of my life for a while now. They help me with a lot of different things, including obviously my job, but also just being productive and stuff like that. I will leave a link in the description. So the first thousand of you to click the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So be sure to head down there and click the link if you wanna try any classes out and kind of see what it's all about. So that's kind of how we use Skillshare in our travel journeys and what we do for work. But now let's get into what you guys are here for, which is my tips and tricks on how to travel with a baby. I did write a few things down, so don't mind me if I look at my phone once or twice, but I'll try to kind of like spitball. So first thing is first, we'll talk about packing a little bit because obviously that's going to be your first step in traveling. So we usually travel to warm places um, and I try to pack for myself and for Mia very minimally. So we take a carry-on, Brandon takes a carry-on, I take a carry-on and then we have Mia's diaper bag and we have an electronics bag. So that's what we bring. So we have to fit all of our clothes into these bags. If you like to check bags, then by all means, check a bag. It's so much easier. But we personally don't love checking bags. We've had some bad experiences with losing um, bags and stuff like that. So we just find it easier for our short trips that we go on for business just to bring a carry-on and then we know we have all of our stuff. We don't have to worry about it. For packing, I will say, we usually pack Mia. Two to three swimwear items is usually good for her. And then we also like to have the reusable diapers. If your child is in diapers, I highly recommend getting those because they're so much easier. They take up way less space in the luggage. This last trip, we didn't have any reusable ones because she outgrew them and we're in winter where we're from. So we did have to use the disposable ones and they're good, but like I said, they just take up space in the diaper bag, which is kind of 
annoying. So we try to use those reusable ones and we also pack about two or three swimsuits for her. And then we also pack diapers in like the sealed package. So depending how long you're going for will depend on like how many diapers you bring. I really don't have like a specific number per day per diapers because every day is different. But we try to pack as many as we can in order to pack a bunch without taking up a crazy amount of space. I take one of the packages out of the big box and I split it in half and I take like one long sleeve and I stick that in our in our luggage and that usually is good if not i'll buy some diapers while we're there or i'll pack like extra in the diaper bag but that's kind of what we go off of um and then we pack about like one pack of wipes in the luggage and then we have like one or two packs in the diaper bag just because you use wipes for a lot of different things not just for bums so i feel like having extra wipes is definitely handy um as for clothing we do like a couple nice outfits some shirts and then like a few pairs of shorts that are going to be interchangeable with the shirts i try to like mix match different items so that it makes more outfits obviously having a baby they get dirty so that makes it a little harder the first time i packed i packed like multiple outfits extra outfits you don't really need that if you're going somewhere warm like she's always in a bathing suit we try to like put a bib on her or stuff like that so it's not that bad but just try to be wise when packing your child's clothing they're small so they don't take up as much space but they also don't need a crazy amount of stuff obviously we pack pajamas we only do a couple pairs of pajamas as well and then i recommend bringing two hats so if it's going to be warm where you're going definitely bring multiple hats because mia lost her hat on our last trip and we didn't have a spare um luckily we found her hat again so it wasn't that big of a deal but if we didn't find her hat we would have had to go buy one we also have this like foldable chair that is a ride or die we even bring it with us places while we're at home um, and it's like a portable high chair almost. So it hooks up to like any regular chair. Um, there's straps, it's definitely secure. And then she just straps in there and it has its own tray. So I find that super easy so that she can feed herself um, and she doesn't need a plate or anything like that. And it just makes it easier for her to eat depending on like how high the chair is versus the table. Sometimes she'll pull up right to the table and I have this like foldable mat that you just wipe down when you're done. And we use that as well but she does really like the tray. You can also use it on the beach, so that's handy. Um, and we can just whip it out anywhere and it packs into this little bag. Um, so that's one of our like most used travel items. We also bring a sound machine. We don't bring a baby monitor because we never leave her unattended. She needs her sound machine to sleep, so we always bring that. We bring a couple soothers. So I bring about three plus one on a soother clip because soother clip just avoids any loss of soothers. It's so much easier. And then we also have like snack cups and we attach to their clips to that as well. So we don't lose that. We bring her like a water cup, her own spoon, her own fork, um, the mat, like I mentioned. We bring bibs, but she's not really into bibs right now. So we'll bring like one of each item. So the next thing would be the car seat that we pack. Um, so we we have the two car seats. We have the car seat that's in our car and it always stays in there. And my husband's parents have a car seat that they got. And it's a more inexpensive car seat. So we use that one and we got this car seat bag um, and I'll link everything down below that I mentioned for you guys to grab. Most of them are honestly off of Amazon. So definitely check them out down below. We have this bag that's like padded. It's a backpack and Brandon puts the car seat in there and then we just like chuck it on his back take it through the airport. That makes it a little bit easier. And then also you can check that bag if you'd like to. Um, if you're checking bags already, then it avoids you having to carry it all the way through the airport. But we like to bring it with us. We bring it all the way to the gate and then we leave it at the little part where you can leave your strollers and stuff. So we leave the car seat at the gate and then we also have a stroller that is like super compactable and lightweight and small. So that goes into its own bag. So we can actually put that in the overhead bin on the airplane. We don't like to put it underneath the airplane because I've heard some people's stuff gets broken. The car seat um, is pretty sturdy, so we're okay with that going down below, but we like to keep the stroller with us just so we get off the plane. We pop it up really quick and it's super easy. And like, this is our favorite stroller. If you have a small car or if you just want like a smaller stroller, this stroller is awesome. And then for the diaper bag, I pack obviously her diapers, wipes, lots of snacks. She's like the snack queen when we're on flights. It's like our way to keep her entertained is by having different snacks. Um, she brings two stuffies, her Mickey and her Minnie. They're like pretty small or like comfort items. We also try to pack a Snuggie with us. It's like a stuffed animal that you can like cuddle for bedtime. 
We like to pack one of those to keep her familiar with home. In her diaper bag, we'll usually include the sound machine because we don't have like a crazy amount of space. Um, and then we do like a water cup. And then we have a cooler bag and that is from Bayes. Our diaper bag is from Bayes. We are a Bayes family. So the cooler bag, we can fit three large bottles of milk. So this was a question I got asked over on Instagram was like, if your child's drinking 3% milk or whatever, whole milk, and you're looking to bring it with you, one, can it go through security? And two, like, where do you find it when you get there? So we pack in the cooler bag, we pack three large bottles of milk and then it has like the ice, like the cooler pack, so it stays cold. And then we pack one in the diaper bag because the diaper bag also has an insulated area. That usually gets us through the travel day and then until we are able to get more milk. So we like to pack as much as we can, but once we get there, we either get the milk from the resort we're staying at, we'll ask them if they have it, or we'll go to a store. It just depends where you're going, but we've never had a problem with finding milk. We've always been able to find milk somewhere, some way. I would say bring some with you as much as you can so that you have that extra, but once you get there, you can find milk. Something else I'll say not to bring with you is a pack and play. Obviously this depends where you're going and like if you've contacted the hotel or whatever, but we always request to have a bed for our child um, at the hotel. And every place we've gone to, they've had a either like a crib or a pack and play for us. Obviously look into where you're going or ask them if, if they have an option to bring you a crib or anything like that. But we've been on cruises, we've been to resorts, we've been to different hotels. We've never brought a pack and play and we've been good. Something else that I like to pack is I have like mini versions of her shampoo and lotion and stuff like that. And you can get like little travel packs for babies. So I like to bring that just because it's like familiar to her, it's a sense of home again, like a routine. Something I will say is it's a little bit harder to bathe your child in a hotel. A lot of hotels don't have baths. So often Mia will come in the shower with me and then I'll just like clean her and then I'll do myself and she'll play. So that's just something to keep in mind. Maybe if you have like a small baby, you could do like a sink bath probably. We don't have like too big of a problem because Mia likes to be in the shower with us and she's big enough where she sits up on her own by the time we started traveling. So we didn't have to really worry about that, but that is something I will mention to look into or like have an alternative, but I feel like a sink is pretty good. You can just like put a towel in there and make it cozy. Okay, next let's talk about kind of like airport, what we do security wise. So some airports will make you take your stroller and like fold it down and put it through the scanner. Some will just like pass it through. Passing it through is so much easier, but obviously for security reasons, I understand why you have to put it through the scanner. And then I always have to take Mia out of her stroller and like hold her and walk through the scanner. So. If she's sleeping, whatever, you have to do it, unfortunately. Um, and then I just put her back in her stroller once we get through. Something else is the milk. You'll definitely have to mention that you have the milk. They always bring her stuff to the side and like swab it or whatever. And then I'm like, yep, it's for my baby. And then we're good to go. That is something else to keep in mind is like you will need a little bit extra time because your bag will most likely get pulled to the side to be processed extra because you have milk with you and then also they do allow her to have a water cup with water in it which i really appreciate because it's just so much easier for her to have water all the time for me like i can wait so it's just easier um that they allow that as well so before we board the plane we like to kind of obviously get to our place we'll go get our snacks or whatever and then we're just we just sit there and wait so they usually call before they call like everyone they'll call families who are traveling with children and that is your opportunity. Make sure you are ready because they skip past it pretty quickly. Um, make sure you're ready to go and get on the flight. So if you need a lot of overhead space, I recommend being ready to get on the flight immediately. And it's just so much easier than you're not like bumping into people and stuff. It just, it's, it's literally so much easier to get on the flight without being rushed um, and get situated with your child. So what we do is we obviously try to be ready by the time they call family's boarding and we have her out of her stroller um you can if you have like a smaller baby the stroller car seat combo can go like right under the right under the plane and you fold it up right before you get on which is super easy but for us we have the stroller on its own and then the car seat so since she is older she's in a big girl car seat so that's already packed away in the backpack right when we get out of the car we just put it in there and it's good to go but before we board we make sure we fold up the stroller and we put it in its like carrying case and we just like use the strap 
So I'll put Mia on me and I'll strap her on with like our carrier. And then from there, we have the stroller, we have our luggage, all that. And then the diaper bag is on my back and that comes with me. Throughout the airport, the diaper bag has stroller clips and they clip onto the strollers. That takes away from me having to carry her backpack around um, so I don't have that like weight on my back, which is really nice because we have other bags that we need to carry as well. So make sure you have a diaper bag with stroller straps and you have a stroller that has like a bar that you can put the stroller straps onto. That is a game changer, lifesaver. I will always say you need to have a diaper bag with stroller straps. It makes it so much easier. We pack all that up. I put the bag on, I put Mia on me. And I also bring like a fanny pack, bum bag, whatever you wanna call it. And that also makes it so much easier because it just strapped to me. I have my passports and all that stuff ready to go. So we head onto the flight. We drop our car seat off before we get on the flight and then we put all of our other stuff in the bins above. So I strap the milk bag onto the diaper bag with the stroller straps when I put it on my back. So I have the diaper bag and the milk bag down below under my seat with me. And then I have to take Mia out of the carrier. We usually either put that down below or we stick it up top because we don't need it until we get off the flight again. So we like to kind of like eliminate any extra stuff we have. And then Brandon has a bag with like her iPad and stuff like that and then Brandon's mom will come with us and she'll take up the third seat. So we have the whole row, which is kind of nice. And I always choose the seat on the inside because she likes to look out the window and you have like a little bit more space to kind of lean against the wall. If she's like sleeping on me, she can get heavy. So I like to have that like support of the wall or like I can rest my head there, that kind of thing. Um, in flight, I try to entertain her for a bit and then she'll usually sleep it depends how long your flight is i find that like she always gets tired on a plane me too and also if you have a child and you're like worried about their ears or anything like that mia had a really easy time with this i was really nervous in the beginning but i always just try to feed her while we take off and while we land she's getting older so sometimes she'll refuse the bottle because she doesn't want it which is fine she doesn't have to take it um, and that's why i said she's not like too bad with it now but in the beginning when she was young i would like make sure she took a bubba or she would breastfeed so that it wouldn't hurt her ears as much so that's definitely a tip that i've heard of and i always try to like stick with okay so while we're in flight like i mentioned we have our stuff down below so we have her diaper bag her snacks her bubba's so she did get an ipad for christmas and we allowed that because although we don't like love to have her like obsessed with electronics or anything she really only uses it when we bring it out for her she mainly just plays with her toys um, but if we're on a flight and we need entertainment it's just so much easier to have and that just makes it easier because all of her videos will be on there we'll download trolls we'll download boss baby um coloring apps stuff like that that are like easy but like still good for her to have so she'll sit there and color for a bit um she'll watch trolls for a bit that kind of thing um in her diaper bag we do keep medicine as well she's only gotten sick on the flight once or twice this last trip she actually was like the one time she got sick ever but she has had like her moments where she's screaming crying like throwing a little bit of a fit and you just kind of gotta ride it out and keep trying to like calm her down the last flight she was like really freaking out i just like took her shirt off like she had a sweater on and she had a long sleeve and sometimes the flight can be cold or it can get pretty hot so i just did what i thought would help her and i took her shirts off and eventually she calmed down she had a bubba and she went to sleep so if your child cries it's not that big of a deal obviously like I still get a little bit stressed out, but I'm also like only stressed out because I want her to be comfortable. I'm not stressed out because I care what other people think, you know, like I'm trying my best. <laughs> Obviously no one wants her to cry, but if she does cry, it happens, you know, like just obviously try to settle them make them comfortable someone also asked if we like get up a lot and walk around with our child. Um, and I don't, I try to make it known that we're sitting and we're playing we're doing whatever in our space because I feel like the more you get up, the more they think that like it's normal to get up. And I usually never get up on a flight anyways. So I try to sit as long as I can. And then obviously for diaper changes, I'll bring her to the bathroom and change her. They'll tell you which bathroom you can go to for diaper changes and stuff like that. Um, and they'll sometimes give you a bag for the dirty diapers so that it doesn't like smell. 
but what I like to do is I bring these like portable diaper genie bags and they've been a lifesaver. I just recently added this to my collection of things to bring on trips with us. And it's helpful when you're on your trip and also while you're in flight. Um, so if she has wet clothes or anything like that, I will put them in there while we're traveling. She threw up, so I put her pukey clothes in the bag so it didn't smell, like that kind of thing. So they're really handy to have. So I really enjoy having those and that's like a new thing that I added. We also bring like mini coloring books with those markers, like the magic markers that don't color on everything. Um, those have been nice. I try to wear clothing that I don't care about as much because you're going to get food and slobber all over you. Something else that I've been asked a bunch is if like my child needs to wear a mask on certain flights and Mia has never been required to wear a mask. She is still fairly young. She's under two. Um, and our last flight that we went on was a United flight and they did have like an announcement saying that any child under any child two years and over were required to wear a mask. So I don't know if that's every flight, but that was a United flight that said that. I couldn't imagine trying to make Mia wear a mask. Um, at two, I feel like they still won't understand, but that is one of their rules. And also traveling with a child, you don't have to pay for their seat until they are two years and older. So that is also a little bit of a bonus. Um, I just keep her on me. And if we have extra space, like if it's not a full flight, Sometimes one of us will move and give more space to whoever's like with Mia. All right, you guys, I think that is all of my tips and tricks that I have for traveling with a child, at least for right now. Um, obviously you can adapt this to if you have an older child or if you have a younger child, you can kind of figure out what's gonna work best, but make sure you pack lots of snacks, bubbas and activities, things for them to be entertained and as a parent, don't expect to really get to do much on the flight other than hang out with your child because I had some expectations of getting work done before um, and it just doesn't happen. So for me, Mia loves to sleep on me when we're traveling. So only when she's sleeping am I able to like watch a show maybe on the screen, but most of the time I just sleep too because like we all need that extra little bit of rest, but yeah. Don't expect to do too much, just kind of focus on your child and then the flight will be a little bit easier and you won't have like expectations not being met of like work or anything like that. But that is everything. So I hope these tips helped you. Like I said, I'll leave everything linked down below. If you want to get into taking cooler pictures on your iPhone or photography or anything like that, definitely check out Skillshare. Like I had mentioned, I'll leave it down below. And the first thousand of you will get a one month free trial to Skillshare. And I think it'd be really cool to kind of like watch a few of these videos and get better at taking family pictures with your family on vacation and stuff like that. Definitely check out the link down below for Skillshare. Um, and I will link everything that I mentioned down below. I do have an Amazon storefront, so maybe I'll make like a little folder or something like that with all the travel stuff. But that is everything. So I hope you guys have an amazing day, week, month, or year. I love you. And remember to always be nice to people. Bye.